<laughs> Gravity, what a wonderful thing. It is empty now, but it'll be lighter. That's a good thing. Sunday morning. Brilliant weather. Possibly the warmest day of the year so far, I don't know. It is pretty perfect, as to be said, depending on what you're doing. Not sure it's perfect for cycling, but that's what we're gonna do. Good morning. Wheelers at large, we're out again. And I've actually put the ride on my Wahoo. It's beeping at me already. Yeah, if you go to the route page, you can use it. Okay, I'll do that. Well, if we're gonna ride on the road, why not a wonderful road like this? All right, where's it taking us? Straight on. Stop looking down. Okay, I'll stop looking down. <laughs> That's the trouble with having a route, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, how nice is this? So, this is a, a byway, but uh, it's also part of the Wiltshire Cycleway. Yeah, really nice. Look, Phil's found us a climb to do. <laughs> Look at that. We got a wall ahead. I'm looking ahead and I'm thinking road gearing. <laughs> I should be more positive, shouldn't I? Slow but steady. Hopefully I'll keep traction. I've used all the gears already. That just got a bit steep. Can't see the top, so we do that. Whew. I've actually got an 11.36 to pick up from Decathlon that I ordered last week. It came in yesterday, but I was having fun on the sewing machine yesterday. I really should have gone and got it. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, oh, we got some of that lovely premium gravel to rest our legs on after that climb. An interesting little flyaway that nothing. Right, okay. Oh, I lost my foot. Hello. Oh dear. Yeah, I got a wet foot. <laughs> well, it looks like the trail party had been out ahead of us. So it's all cut back. So, fingers crossed with the stinging nettles. When Phil said it could peter out into nothing, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. That's where it joins up again. Right, so it's just joining two paths together by the look of it. Hampshire cattle rustling grit and gravel. Yeah, I'm friendly. It's okay, I'm friendly. Julie, keep up so we go in a group. <gasps> Don't get cut off. <sighs> well, back on something that looks like a trail. Yes! <laughs> look at that. Nice looking bushes on the barns here. I think Downton used to be famous for leather. I think there was a big tannery here. Yeah, give us a tag. Ready? Already. <laughs> I'm going to grab my grass. <laughs> 
the click of everyone changing gear. Spinning yes. is less tiring. I'm not very good at doing it. Well, that's World Tour Cycling Set. Oh, I know. Not us. Yeah. Mike made some flapjack this week. Almondy. So I've just had a piece of that. Sometimes it's just recognising when you need something to eat before it's too late. In my garden last night, there was a stag beetle. Then I noticed there was another one next to it. Two huge flying stag beetles. They were both massive. Nobody's attempting it. <laughs> you can't see the ruts in the bottom. That's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> That's not so much the getting wet. It's what you're going to hit while you do it. Do you want me to get through and I'll hand it through to you? No, no. I'm going to do it. Be right. Yep. Just watch the sting in that also. Okay, thank you. Wait for you, Phil. Go on then. <laughs> no, he thought about it for a second. Nobody's going to attempt it. I mean, you know, I would have done, but... <laughs> so this is the Gallops, Salisbury Racecourse. We must be just behind it, actually. The village of Martin is where we're heading. And then we start to loop back round Fording Bridge to the uh, potting shed at Hyde. And then across the bombing arrow and back up to uh, Piper's Wait, where we started. No idea what's going to happen along here. <laughs> but Phil said, just follow it to the road. So that's what we're going to do. Come on, Percy. You and me can do it. All right, stay off the saddle. Light on the feet. Let the bike move around. I want to come out of this rut. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I can't go any further in that. <laughs> I take it nobody died. No. <laughs> That's well, good. Wow. Julie's still talking. <laughs> Have I said how pretty this ride is? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I think at the pace we've been doing this ride, 700 no problem. I think if you wanted to do it faster, 650B bigger tyres. If you wanted to do it really fast, probably full sus. <laughs> and what a lovely place. A lot of picture postcard cottages. pretty is that? I'm sure this is where photographers come to get the pictures for uh, you know jigsaw puzzles and fudge tins there's an awful lot of cottages that are just picture perfect All right. Hull thank you very much well it's been a bit wide open in places but Thankfully, we are finding some cover from the sun from time to time. Whew. This is apparently the nature reserve. Yeah. Yes. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nettles. Not too many nettles so far, but things could change. Uh, 
Right, I don't know what's ahead, so let's get in a small ring, just in case. Certainly don't want a little lay down, getting stuck in the cleats when there's nettles on each side. Well, that was dock leaves, so one would assume <laughs> that there's nettles in here somewhere. No squeals or screams yet, so I'm suggesting we're okay. Oh, I can't see where I've got to go. Ow! Oh, that was stinging nettles. Oh, stingers. Look at this view. Oh, hello. Is that a hair? Wow. These little places are gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Right. Yeah, thank you very much. You got the route, haven't you? I have got the route, yeah. That bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Roots. There we go. That's better. Let's have a gear that works. Thank you. This is the sort of thing I do like about this bike. Just a light touch to move, change direction, which is really nice. Yeah, the tough row is nice and stable, but I do have to manhandle it from time to time to get it to do stuff. Yeah, so some interesting terrain through the woods there, in the shade, but of course no breeze. So it's quite nice being out again, going down the road, getting a bit of breeze in the face. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, we're all together. If you're not here, shout. Feel that warmth. Wow. Right, over the river at Fording Bridge. Check that lot out. Sorry, it's a bit skew with, but that's the best I can do. How was that? That looked amazing, didn't it? Thank you, thank you very much. What a decent chap. Oh, yeah, we're going Stuckton, Frogham. And in between here and Frogham is... Baskets and blooms. <laughs> no, the potting shed. I don't care about baskets and blooms, I want cake. <laughs> there was a lot of people in that uh, river there. Look like great fun. Who chose the wall? Blissford Hills Evil Twin, apparently. Ah, okay. Oh, I can see somebody walking. Oh <laughs> yeah. no! <laughs> yeah. That doesn't bode well. But what's at the top of here? Potting shed. Yay. Coffee. And Steve, you're ready for coffee and cake, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Has been a bit energy sapping today. Not an awful lot of flat. Now that is a welcome sight. The legs are going to have to warm up again. As you can tell, we are all maintaining a stunning pace out of the cafe. <laughs> I'm sure we'll speed up in a minute. Yes, because the route is on the road. Yeah. Well, we've been fed and watered. The intensity has dropped. Yeah, everyone's uh, 
<laughs> Gotta get their legs back in now. <laughs> Vantage point. Bit the bombing arrow, of course. Thank you very much. Nice fast downhill. Now this one's reasonably straight, so I might let myself go. I haven't done that so far on this. Well, let's see what happens. Ooh. Yep, stay off the brakes, stay off the brakes, stay off the brakes. Leave the brakes alone. got a mental barrier on the next hill I always get up it but always in the granny gear and always really slow anyway doesn't matter as long as I get up it looks like new gravel actually I don't know if that'll make it easier or harder seems to be quite well packed Well done, Steve. Well done. Full water. Yes. Whee! Oh, this is Iworth Pond. Apparently, in World War II, there was an armaments factory hidden in here. Because uh, this was the area where a lot of ordnance was tested. You wouldn't know it now, would you? I don't mind telling you, I've been here a few minutes already. We went for it on that last bit, up from Iworth Pond. Uh, I'm not saying I was fast or anything, but I was fast for me. Don't think I've ever done it as fast before. It's funny, I always seem to have a bit more energy towards the end and I think it's down to energy conservation. I know where the end is. I know that even if I just use up everything I've got, I'm still only, you know, a very short distance from the car, so. Well, that was a really nice ride. It's a long way today, 35 miles we've done with 2,300 feet of climbing. So if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. Click that like button and we'll see you on the next one.